couple of optional programs of software that I find very handy on my tablet PC. First of all, a number of you may be wondering how it is that I'm uh, doing these screencasts. I'm using a program called BB Flashback Express. You can see it right there. If you just go to Google and type in BB Flashback, all one word, Express, it's a free program. I think it's made in Britain, and it works great. Oh, I guess BB Space Flashback Express. Okay. Go to the screen here and uh, download the free to use forever. Click on the link, save it. When you first run it, it will ask you to register by clicking on a link and they'll send you a link via your email. Don't be scared to give them your email. I have not got any junk email or anything from them at all. And the reason I like this particular recording program is not just that it works. Uh, the first time you run it, you can leave almost everything as defaults. The only thing you'll have to turn on is uh, where when you get to the page about sound, make sure you activate the built-in microphone so that it picks up your voice. It also will automatically upload to YouTube, which is how I've been putting these YouTube videos together. You do need a YouTube account, but it's pretty uh, simple, wonderful to use, doesn't use much memory at all, so I really like this piece of software. And uh, play around with it and you'll probably figure it out pretty good. So BB Flashback Express is one. For a video player, I use one called the uh, KM Player, KM Player Allward. I talked about VLC in an earlier podcast. That's a great video player. It plays almost everything, but it really has a lousy interface when you're trying to show a video to your class on the big screen. KM Player seems to be a much nicer uh, video player, uh, nicer interface. I'm going to go download. Uh, KM Player free download. Blah, 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 blah. Save. And once it's done, scanning for viruses, uh, right click open, allow, English, next, I agree, and I think I include everything. I, I leave the defaults as is. Install. Really a nice little video player. Takes up a surprisingly small amount of room. I found this on a website called freewaregenius.com and he highly recommends it. Finish. Bit of a setup page. So I'm going to go English. Uh, general use. Use internal recorders, um, above normal, recommended, blah, 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 blah. I think I'm good on all this. I think I'm good on all that. I'm just hitting next. Uh, classic style is what I like. You can use the modern style, but I like the classic style. Uh, enable album art. I'm going to say no. I just think that takes up extra memory. A uh, couple other things. Uh, I usually just leave this as is. I do like the real media files. I don't open the audio files, but I open everything else with it. Run the player after the wizard closes, and I'm even going to say add this to the quick launch toolbar. And it should go quite merrily away. So this is what it looks like. The reason I like it is, first of all, you can instantly make it full screen. And when you're playing a video, your cursor, left, right, and arrow keys will fast forward. I think right arrow fast forwards 10 seconds or 30 seconds. You can also just jump around in your arrow. If I click right there, it'll play the video right there. Um, I, I like the interface much better. And I guess I should close. 
Uh, other software. If you Google micro, Microsoft pow, pow, Power Toys Tablet PC. They're for XP, but I found most of these do work for Windows Vista as well. Some of the ones that I use, I don't use the calculator. I have a virtual TI graphing calculator that I install instead. Um, the Ink Screen Saver, this one I install and I use. So I'm going to do that right now. Save file. And... The other one that I use is the Physics Illustrator. This has a high nerd component. And I think I already passed the composition tool, didn't I? Because it's alphabet. No, maybe not. Microsoft uh, Tablet PC Music Composition Tool. This is a neat one if you know anybody who's really into music. I'm not going to install it on this particular machine, but it's worth playing around with. The rest I just leave alone. So those are some optional installs and uh, hopefully you'll find them useful.